Let me give you a, a revelation, a couple of them. You can discern whether someone is bound in legalism by listening to them repent. People that are bound in religion repent for breaking rules. People that are in the family of God repent for breaking father's heart. This is, I'm not, I'm not preaching this kind of muster up your strength and stop looking at the screen. I'm saying you've got to shift your gaze away from a screen to a cross. You've got to stop looking into her eyes and start looking into his eyes. You've got to stop looking to culture to define your sexuality and look to Jesus Christ and his word to define your sexuality. You've got to stop trying to find love in all the wrong places. And you've got to start trying to find love in his place, the secret place. So God is wanting the gaze of a generation. He's inviting us into a deeper realm of encounter. But on my own journey, trying to do what I could to please the Father, here's what I once believed. My measure of surrender determined my level of encounter. Many people will amen that, but I'm telling you that's religion. My measure of surrender, I've got to fast, I've got to pray, I've got to seek God, and then he's got a great encounter waiting for me. That lifestyle will lead to burnout and disillusionment with God. I want to try to get you out of that realm. And here's good Bible truth. It's actually your level of encounter that will determine your measure of surrender. Jesus said, if you love me, you will obey my commands. So intimacy fueled from, excuse me, let me, let me put it like this. Obedience fueled from intimacy is the kingdom of God. But obedience without intimacy is Phariseeism. It's where religion comes from. So how many of us have been trying to serve God and live according to his word, disconnected from his heart?